Okay, so... Let's explore this place. <clears throat> Something that I noticed in my attempt... In my attempt to get f more familiar with the top screen... To more figure out what is really going on there. Because when I look at the top screen, the only thing that I look at is the blue squares. Dark blue on the bottom, and the top, and the light blue on the top. <clears throat> and I'm only looking for descension or ascension points. I'm not paying attention to the walls. I'm not paying attention to the fact that the the light red walls are the same as the roof on the bottom screen. I don't even know. I don't even know what to make of that. But now that I see that, ah, but now that I see that. You know, I'm not paying attention that this is the same as this or that is the same as that. I'm only paying attention to the descension and the ascension points. I'm not even paying attention to the wall at the end because that might change depending on where I face on the bottom screen. Watch this. Meh? Meh? What do you make of that? I don't know. Yeah. See that? I don't know what that means. But something that I... Uh, but I just kind of caught on right now was that I, at least I could pay attention, at least I can tell, at least I can tell when um, <clears throat> in the top screen it gives me two types of ceilings, the physical ceiling and the hyper ceiling, the spiritual ceiling, the ascension points, the physical floor and the hyper floor. So one thing that I could be looking at. Yeah, so there's uh, two types of ceiling on the top. So, I'm looking at that, and at least I could keep track of that. I think I will be able to navigate that if I keep that in mind. So, watch this. I am now navigating, I am now turning, and I could either see, uh, face the physical ceiling and the physical floor I could either face the spiritual ceiling and the spiritual floor the wall is just the wall right there I mean and I wouldn't be able to tell uh, what the other walls are like because these yellow walls are not present in this top screen so it would just be as simple as that I guess um, but regardless if I if I can yet if I, regardless if I can navigate or not through the top screen, maybe I can't, but at least I can tell more about what is going on there. Watch this. Why did the top screen? Why did the top screen uh, went face that way when I was facing down that way? It was because it's facing down on the physical floor, right? And it faces that way. When I face the physical ceiling on the bottom screen, when I face this physical ceiling up down here. This camera will face that way because I'm facing the physical ceiling, which is red, right? Let's do that. There you go, see? <clears throat> now when, because the yellow walls are right here, it's only green walls. There's floor, floor, physical floor, hyper floor, physical ceiling, hyper ceiling, and there's only one wall. Well, if I decide to face the yellow walls, then this thing has to switch out somehow. So, let's see how it switches out. There you go. So everything else, everything else tells you the same. There's still the physical ceiling, hyper, physical ceiling, hi, uh, physical floor, uh, hyper floors, uh, hyper ceiling. But the walls, the yellow walls need to change. And now if I face here, I face the physical floor, but the yellow walls are gone. Unless I face the yellow walls in this world. So I'm kind of getting more familiar before this point, I did not used to pay attention to the top screen except for the blue, except for the hyper floor and hyper ceiling. But now I'm going to try and uh, and incorporate it, incorporate the movements that go on there more into my navigation. There, see? Now I'm keeping in mind, hey, there's a, there's a physical ceiling. Let's go toward the physical ceiling. That's on top, 
on the top screen and on the bottom screen. Yeah, so let's try and do a little bit of, uh, of this. I'm not sure if I'll get be able to get through the whole maze, but let's try and do a little bit of it. All right, so that's the physical ceiling. Face that way. So that's the top floor. And in this screen, on the, on the top screen, let's let's manipulate the top screen and see if I don't get confused. That is the top floor. And if I go to the top floor, let's go to the top floor. I'm manipulate. I'm, I'm navigating through the top screen. I've never done that before. I might get confused. And on the top floor, there is an ascension point. See, so I see that there's a top floor because on the top screen, the top and the bottom are sideways because the actual top and the bottom, the this. This top and the bottom are sideways, so what's top and the bottom here? Top and bottom here is sideways here. And the actual top and bottom on the top screen are hyper directions, which are not present in, in this one. Later on, as I get more familiar with this, um, I will be able to, uh, you know, just consider, consider the... Uh, hopefully I'll be able to consider this and this just another direction not necessarily a hyper direction so if I happen to switch out something like this you know on the bottom screen now there's hyper directions on the bottom screen that's so, so confusing hopefully that won't confuse me anymore but for now let's uh, there you go fixed it man I don't know if I would be able to fix that if I didn't have this familiarity that I have right now. But anyway, so there's an ascension point in the top floor. Let's go. I'm navigating through the top screen now. Let's go to the bottom floor. There's no ascension or descension points. But there is a sideways room right there. I'm looking at the bottom screen. There's no ascension or descension points, but there is a side room right there, so I would need to pay attention to that. Um, so I go forward. And I could either go down, I could either go down, or I could go sideways, and there's nothing, there's nothing on the top screen to indicate what this is. Alright, so, let me explain that one more time. I could either go downward, downward. That's an indication on each the top or the bottom screen. Or I can go or I can go sideways, of which here there is no indication of that because there's no such thing. There's that dimension does not exist on the top screen. Sideways, some null dimension, some null direction. So let's figure out what there is sideways. Okay, so we came from the top floor. See what there is sideways here. There's an ascension point up there. Whoop. No ascension points there. Let's see if we can finish this. Alright, so there's nothing there. Nothing there. So let's go up through this ascension point, the one the ascension point that's up here. Whoop. Ascending. There's a descension point right here. Descend. I'm not paying attention to where I'm going, dude. Let me take a look at that because it's because I only have a little bit of time. So that's where I came from. And so I'm just trying to get this done as quickly as possible. Nothing there, nothing there. So I could just go back. Nothing there. Alright, so let's go back where we came from. And right here. Oh, there's an ascension point right here. Is that where I came from? There's another ascension point there. I don't know if I came from I don't know if I came from up there or if I came from the spot where I'm in right now. Um but let's uh, let's explore let's explore this area. Oh gosh, see see what I'm doing now? I'm kind of getting used to um, navigating 
in the top screen. I gotta get used to that. There's nothing there. Right, so I'm now navigating the top screen. Let's go down. Sideways. Descending. Face that. There's an ascension point right here. There's nothing there. So we could go back in the top screen. Let's make sure we face the right way because we don't want a mirror world. Oh gosh. Let's descend. A mirror world. All right. There's an ascension point right here. And I think it's going to end up happening because I can't tell which way is which. I think I'm going to run out of time and descension point. There's nothing in this descension point. We're going to face down. There's another descension point right here. So. Descend again. Yep, I'm lost. I'm officially lost. And I don't think I have time to finish this. And there's no value in continuing. Yes, yes, very interesting, very interesting. Anyway, so I was hoping this would be a quick one. Uh, but, you know, all the hard ones come when you least expect it. So I'm going to cancel this. I'm going to cancel this one because I am trying to show Abandoned Maze, yes. I'm trying to show something else about this. Watch this. If I, if I decide to navigate using the top screen, there is a possibility here, watch. There's the floor, there's the ceiling, there's two openings right there on my right. If I decide to use the top screen as navigation, there. Oh, how should I do this? How should I do this? How does this work? There it is, I think. Hmm. Oh, okay, that's what happens. So, there's the floor, there's the ceiling, and now the walls are missing. The walls are missing on the left, no longer on the right. And that can get pretty confusing. But now I know the pattern here, watch. Because I've been getting used to this, I can now tell that the ascension is on the bottom, the ascension ceiling is on the bottom, and the hyperfloor is on the top. And that's why this happens right here, that's why the world gets mirrored, because the hyper world is upside down. But if I were to turn it this way, Then the bottom screen is upside down, then I just put the floor where the floor belongs and I go back to the orig original position. The walls are missing on the right, so there's two options. I could go right, not left, or I could, I could go right right here, or I could go right right there. Whereas if I turn this upside down and turn this one upside down, then everything is upside down, Every, everything is mirrored. Because the hyper, the hyper world is upside down, in the real world, everything is mirrored, so I can only go left, or I could only go left there. So, what does that mean, and what do we learn today? We learned that we learned that if you go through the mirror, or if you wake up one morning and the whole world is mirrored, that means you're upside down, 
in the in the spiritual world. You're just upside down in the spiritual world, and you got to fix yourself up because you know now you're left-handed. You know, oh, you'll have to be left-handed, and now you're dyslexic because all the words that you see, kind of kind of like my world right now. Uh, watch this. What does that say? Let your goals be goals. Yeah. Take your take you places. Yeah. So that's that's kind of kind of mirror where that's kind of mirror. But um, yeah. Now watch this. In this world, we have books. So it's it's still the same world, and we have a test a test sulk, a test sulk, and we have scoob. And we have, we have, uh, let's see, what does that say? Roy, Tell, Slaug, Sekalp, Uoy, Ekat. So you're still in the same world, so don't worry, your mom is still your mom, your dog is still your dog, and your friends are still your friends. It's still the same world, you haven't traveled anywhere, you're not in a, in a different plane or dimension but you're upside down transdimensionally. 